Hello, everybody. This is part two of a video that I um, did yesterday where we are representing linear relationships. In this case, I'm going to be using uh, linear relationships um, or representing linear relationships, I should say, using a verbal description. But the way that I'm going to bridge the gap uh, to make this a little bit easier for everybody um, is I am going to use some of our previously learned skills, especially during our equations unit, where we had to write uh, verbal descriptions from equations. But you'll see exactly what I mean in just a moment. Okay, so as it says, just as you can create a table given a verbal description of a linear relationship, you may also create a verbal description given a table. To do so, look for the patterns so that you can determine how a change in one quantity will affect another. So again, that's what we're gonna be doing more of today. We're gonna to be looking at the changes in patterns and we can build our equation that way. Some kids, um, if they are given an equation, they have a hard time building that verbal description, but I'm hoping that these techniques, which I'm going to show today, will be helpful. And that brings us to the example which we're looking at right now. All right, so um, the relationship between the cost of an online um, advertisement for a movie and the number of times it is clicked on is shown in the table here. Now, as we all know in our world of Instas and YouTubes and all of those fancy social media networks, lots of people are making lots of money on clicks, subscribers, likes, etc. But we're going to be looking at clicks today. So this particular company, it looks to be, um, is charging basically for the number of clicks that an ad will receive. So we're going to, first of all, look at some of the patterns that we see here. And I'm going to be switching over to my uh, document camera now so we can start looking at that. So if, again, we look and we see that the number of clicks is going up, it appears to be by how much? Look and see if you see a pattern there. What is happening as the number of clicks increases? Okay, or how much is increasing by, I should say. The cost, we can also look to see what's happening here. So, as I see, um, there appears to be something that's going on, but let's explore that a little bit more. All right, so we're gonna take a look at what we have here. What I've done is I've recreated the chart from the previous page. The number of clicks is at the top, of course, that would be our X value. And the cost would be our Y value. This is going to be your independent quantity and your dependent quantity, okay? Because these numbers depend on these numbers, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the difference in value for the X's and the Y's, okay? So I wanna analyze from here to here what's happening Okay, I can probably see something that's occurring, but if it's not quite as obvious to you, what you would do simply is you would take the second y, uh, x value, this first y value, uh, okay, oh, these are all x's, sorry, tongue tied today. So second x value minus your first x value. So the difference in x is going to be defined as 10 minus or 20 minus 10, that's gonna be 10. So I had a student earlier say, well, what if you're just able to recognize those? Now, this is for the students who possibly just don't see the difference. They can actually calculate the difference if it's not as obvious to them. Some students, it might be a little bit more obvious, okay? So now I'm gonna look at the difference in my Y values, second here minus um, the first. So. 151 minus 150.50 is going to equal 0 0.50. So there is a 50 cent difference from here to here. Now, the way that we determine whether or not there is, in fact, a linear relationship, there's an imaginary um, zero, zero here because a linear relationship would start, a linear proportional relationship would start at the origin, which has the coordinates of zero, zero. So does that make sense? For zero clicks, there's zero amount charge. So that makes sense. So we do have a linear uh, relationship here that I wanted to um, go ahead and make sure that we are aware of. All right. Now, next, we're going to use the difference in Y that we calculated here, and we're going to subtract, we're going to subtract that first 
y value, the first y value here, okay? Sorry, that first y value that was there. Now, I want to go ahead and uh, take my first y value, 150.50, and subtract 0 0.50, and what do I come up with? That is going to give me $150. Now, at this point, I may not know what to do with that, but I'm going to put that to the side. That's going to be part of my WDIKs in just a moment. Remember, the WDIKs are what do I know, those things that we simply set out, okay? So I see that from here to here, it just jumped to 150 50 from there to there, it's a 50 cents difference, 50 cents, 50 cents, 50 cents. But I, that may not make sense at this point. So let's go ahead and do our WDIKs. So the first thing that I know, the first WDIK that I know, is that according to this number, there's a 150 extra dollars. And I'm going to put the extra in quotes right now. Uh, $150 extra that needs to be accounted for. So at this point, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with that, but I'm going to just put that to the side. I do know that there is a 10-click difference in my X values. There is a 50 cents difference in cost per uh, let me see, I'm sorry, miswrote that, so per 10 clicks, okay, so 50 cents difference in cost per 10 clicks, okay, per 10 clicks, and that's going to make a difference. Now, I've been telling my students that when you see the word per, when it comes to building equations, think of the variable more than likely your x variable, okay? So keep that in mind as well. So I want to explore this a little bit more, okay? So if there are 50 cents per 10 clicks, now, in terms of math, your fraction or your division symbol there, okay, is, can also be read as the word per, so keep that in mind. So how much is it for one click? How would I figure that part out? Now remember, using the power of your decimal, okay, that we talked about in our uh, conversion uh, from fraction to decimal to percent video, if I'm going to use the power of the decimal, if I wanted to divide this by 10, which this in essence is doing, I'm going to use that decimal and move it over one place because there's one zero here. So in order to divide something by 10, I look at the number of zeros, move it over one. There's one zero, so I move it over one place. So that actually becomes 5 cents per click. And that's going to make sense in just a second. Okay, now remember in the format where I would use y is equal to mx plus b, I'm going to build an equation. Okay, I want to build an equation and then I'm going to map it verbally and that's going to help me translate to what my verbal description would be. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and fill this in as y is equal to, remember what I said about the per. I'm going to put the 0 0.05 or 5 cents per click along with my x variable here. And I'm going to map it to see if it makes sense. Now remember this amount from step number two, that $150. I can more than likely associate that with my constant in my y equals mx plus b. Because remember, this is associated with your constant plus 150, okay? So I think I have an equation. I want to go ahead and map it, okay, verbally. So I'm going to say that an online ad company, I'm going to say that the equal charges 
five cents per click plus and we don't know exactly what that hundred and fifty dollars is for maybe I'll say that it's for um, a setup fee okay to set you up on their website okay could be a contract but I'm just gonna say a setup fee okay now I'm gonna bridge the gap to write my verbal description the verbal description that I'm gonna write and I'm just gonna follow along to give me the essence and we talked about this in my writing verbal descriptions and from equations uh, video before I'm gonna say an online ad company and I'm just gonna follow along charges and watch as I want you to follow this over here as I write, okay? An online ad company charges a movie company five cents per click plus a $150 setup fee for their site. Now, this follows what was happening before. Now remember, you are able to convert a tabular of or related to a table, a tabular representation of data to an equation by writing down your WDIKs Okay, and then converting that with the help of your verbal mapping of the equation to a verbal representation. So it takes a, a little bit of work. So I don't want you to think that it's easy peasy, snap, 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 and you're done. Okay, it does take a little bit of work and a little bit of understanding. But if you use the steps that I've outlined, that should help you. If you have questions, please come with them to tutorials. Come with it one question to tutorials. That's all that I ask. If you are still confused, ask me in class as well. And as always, I will see you tomorrow.